Hello, Grandview Wolves, and welcome back to View from the Den. We are with the Grandview Chronicle, and today, for you guys, we have... Jacob Hua. And Ethan Belfon. Today, we will be discussing the Apple Vision Pro. If you don't know what it is, it is essentially um, a VR, kind of like um, an, an augmented reality, essentially. So basically what we're saying is it's a computer in the form of a headset that blends in digital content with your physical surroundings. However, with the Apple Vision Pro, there has been a lot of controversy. Many are wondering, oh, what if there's a recall? Or, oh, what if people get too hooked on this? And so we're here today to let you know whether it's good or bad. Now, off the rip, I'm going to say that it is bad. The external battery on it lasts up to two hours with a 2.5 hours of uh, uh, video playback. But, like, you can still use it and wear it while it's charging. So yeah, exactly. So, reason for it to tear, take See, it off. You could charge while doing it, and it's not even, like, a long charge. Exactly. So, charge. so I feel as if there's more pros to the cons. So, I... I have to disagree with you I guys. I feel like there's more pros to the cons, but I feel like the pros are just so big and they could lead up to like ev what everybody fears, which is like the end of the So world. you fear like robots are going to take – that's not – you were just like born to TikTok. Like that's just not true. The future is mechanics and engineering and, and, and stuff like this, and AI I, generated. I, I agree. The future is that. But like, let's say with like with ChatGPT, with uh, and with the Apple Vision Pro, there's literally a headset on you. Let's say that it malfunctions. And it, like, what would it do if it malfunctions? Huh? Well, it's not connected well, to actually, your brain. Well, actually, I I know. Um, so this this is kind of similar to the hoverboards. Um, pre recall, a lot of them were exploding. Yeah. Which is pretty scary to think about, especially because the Apple Vision Pro is is on your head, right close, to, right next to your eyes. Exactly that. Okay. Well, enough being said. Let's get into some of the features. So, um, I know the Apple Vision Pro comes along with like FaceTime or 3D meetings where it displays your face, um, visual avatars. Um, there's also um, immersive entertainment, so you can watch like your favorite streaming uh, platforms with it on i mean the apple vision pro even has like the same apps you use on your phone i mean there's like music there's stuff like that and it also can display eyes so if you guys are scared like it's a headset like it, people can still interact with it and the audio um, surprisingly is the same as the audio that we use for airpods um but they up the quality so it's even better than exactly i mean i i feel there's nothing to fear with the apple vision pro coming out well that First of all, you have to put up three and a half bands just to get it. And when you get it, like, again, like the hoverboards, the first hoverboards exploded. I mean, I've, I, I agree with you. Three and a half K, that's a lot, but that, there's specific reasons. It's not for everyone. I mean, obviously, you know, you don't want, like, in the future, it will be. It will be. Yeah. But right now, it's just like a work in progress. It's the beginning of the future, I like to say. I know, but, like... Our attention spans are already bad with our phones, uh, with TikTok and apps like that. And just having, just imagining that on your face, you don't even have to take it off. You could just be wearing it and it could be off. But like, I, I don't know if something about that is just kind of like, it is kind of crazy to, for me to even think about. You know? So Apple itself, if you go to the support section on the website, claim that if your eyes are too close to the display lenses of your Apple Vision Pro, it may it could cause eye injury in the case of a fall or collision. Which I'm like the thinking the the reasoning to that, like how that sits with me is well, you're kind of prior to fall considering that there's there's this this weight on the front of your head. And, and I mean, you can really just be somewhere else with the Apple Vision Pro. You can be wherever you want. I mean, as we said, there's you can watch TV, yeah, all these like, things. You can put like the display on the wall, like on the wall. It's pasted on the wall. So like, hey, you you're like cooking for a quick second while you're waiting. You look up. It's on the ceiling and you're just watching a movie. Right there. And so like, how do you know whether you're about to fall or not? What if there's something like directly beneath you? And I mean, and how do you know if your eyes are too close to the display lenses? It seems to be that there's just too many faults. Mm -hmm. 
Well, yes, I guess there is a little bit of weight to it. But like I said, we're just getting to start. Maybe in the future it'll become like glasses. Yeah. But also, uh, Ethan, you said like, oh, there's like stuff on the wall and stuff. Yeah. It's the beginning of the future. Okay. Like, when do you when did you expect it to start? It's got to start sometime. Well, no. Yeah. But I don't, like everybody. Like I don't know. I just fear that sometimes we get to to i don't know we get to ahead of ourselves with the whole technology and we're exploring things and this is good i like the fact that i uh that i have faster charging on my phone i like the fact that i could facetime somebody from across the country and the apple vision pro is good like i'm not i'm not saying that it's not good but i just fear that like even if it doesn't cause like some sort of like apocalypse or whatever i just feel like humans will become lazier with it there's no reason to take it off like, okay yeah, I can see you there. But, I mean, I still feel the pros outweigh the cons because we could just have an augmented reality. It's yeah. not technically virtual reality where, like, people will just sit on their couches and go to, like, school. No, yeah. you're still going to go walk around. I mean, the laziness factor I don't see because, like, for example, when you're cooking, you could, like, use Gordon Ramsay. There's so many uh, cool features you can use with it. Okay, but at the same time, though, instead of doing your homework, you could be – doing virtual reality instead like like our phones are enough of a distraction already to the point where teachers have to take our phones away so i mean they're obviously going to take away the apple vision pro but like still it could be, it could be. yeah and so uh, about that like being addicted to it I, I don't think buyers purchasers have really seen the same sort of like okay so um anthony Cuthbertson, um, he's a writer for um, the uh, website Independent, and uh, he claims that Apple Vision Pro users are beginning to return headsets, blaming head headaches and um, limited usage. Essentially, just saying it's not worth it. I mean, like it just it makes sense though. Like imagine having your like close to your like eyes. Obviously, it's gonna have cause eye strain, but like yes, but like. It's still, we're still getting used to it, you know, like, and we've got to evolve with the Apple, like for the f technology. Yeah. I like that part about evolving. I mean, Tim Cook himself, the creator of Apple said, it is the beginning of a new era for computing as its initial unveiling last year. Yeah, I agree. I feel like there's a new era. We're getting to see more AI, more augmented reality, virtual reality. I, I just can't wait for the future, no, to be I honest. Can't, I can't wait for it because the pros, it generally, generally seems like like good pros. I just feel like like all those times in the movies, like everything is really just following the movies. AI is coming. Headsets are coming. Like this is the things that, um, that movies been warning us about. And I'm not saying that they're all factual. I'm not saying that they're all true. But it just makes you think like mm, maybe I wish it could be like them. Yeah, I guess. And have you guys seen like where people use the Apple Vision Pro like while in a Tesla that's auto driving? Yeah. So I, I guess I am a little scared of that because they're not even like driving. If they're like, exactly. so no. it could like, uh, like, it could fall back on us. There was um this one uh, YouTube creator Davis. He like did sports with with um the headset and like most of most of the times uh, he did sports, it didn't really work. But like. Sometimes it did work, so it just makes you think, hey, you could really just be watching stuff while be playing basketball. Like, mm -hmm. you know? And so uh, speaking of creators, Mark Zuckerberg himself actually reviewed the product, and he um, compared it to a uh, Quest Pro 3, which is um, another VR product, and um, which is 500, by the way, compared to 3,500. Um, he claimed that, I mean, even besides the the price tag, that the product is just better. Period. He talks about um. Essentially, he was just talking about how the value's better. Um, and he he went feature for feature, and he decided on the Quest Three. And so, I mean, price is definitely a huge feature for most. But I mean, let's look at how how the like how it can only go up from here with the Apple Vision Pro. How it can keep expanding. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, I feel like the future generations, it'll ha it'll improve as we will improve as well. So maybe it'll have like heartbeat sensors for the older generations. Uh, maybe 
a diet checker. Like if you're on a diet, it'll check foods and stuff. And I really feel like it, it's only up from here, like you said. So, uh, yeah. This has been View from the Den with Ethan Belfont, Lemonfile, Jacob Watts, signing off.